What's up? I'm Tyler, and I'm here with my friend Kyle, and today we're going to hack a Monday Motorbikes Gen 7. So I'm back trying to get into the habit of making more videos. Uh, I've been busy with work and 2020 was weird, man. Hope everybody out there is safe and alive. So here we go, folks. I'm throwing the script out. We don't need it because today we're hacking a Monday Motorbikes Gen 7. And by hack, I mean use this $29 Bluetooth dongle to connect to the Kelly controller and change a couple of settings, guys. Not complicated. I just want to be clear, this is not a how-to video. I'm not telling you to do this. We're doing is in oh, all we're doing is increasing the amount of current that's allowed to go from the battery to the motor, and by doing so, we will squeeze more torque out of this bike. This will not change the top speed of the bike. This will only affect the torque and your acceleration as a result. And the reason for that is because current or amps, which we're adjusting, is proportional to torque, whereas voltage is proportional to RPM, or speed of the motor. So let's get into this mod. You will begin by removing the Phillips head screws that are used for fastening the plastic cover over all of the electronics. Take care to pull those screws out and pull the plastic back and try not to break Kyle just found the, uh, the programming port here after we, after we took some Phillips screws out of the plastic cover. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so next you're gonna go on over to kellycontroller.com slash support, and you're gonna scroll down until you find KLS. Click it, that's the controller type we're using. And uh, you're gonna download the KLS configuration program. It's an Android app. Uh, sorry, iPhone users. If you can't find somebody with an Android app, you can always download the PC version as well and buy a cable that I'll include in the video description below. This is why those guys you know that are adamant about using Android, use Android phones. How are you doing? Do you need a break? Okay. All right, so once you've downloaded the app, you'll see it listed as AC Aducer. Don't ask questions, just click the app. Don't ask questions. All right, so after you click the app, you'll see a warning, do not spin the motor. Don't touch the throttle. Just click yes and click Bluetooth Calm. Uh, by the way, I love how the Coke can is just the standard unit of measurement for objects. Okay, so you're almost there. So now we need to click connect, and then you're gonna search for your device amongst the list. Now I recommend trying this first without any other Bluetooth devices nearby so that you can try to get the name of your device. Mine started with 2008, so you'll just have to figure that out. I don't know, you're on your own. All right, and next, oh, we're connecting. All right, sweet, we're connected. Look at the bottom, see it? All right, cool. So then you're gonna click REA for read, which will read the motor controller parameters. All right, so this is what the screen will look like when you're connected to your Monday. So you're gonna scroll down, look for current percent and battery current limit. So I would start by changing current percent and I would bump that up to 100. Battery current limit, go ahead and change that to like 50, maybe 60. Incrementally increase that as you feel a change in the torque of your vehicle. You know, take it slow, don't rush. If anything, the motor is a tank. I worry more about the motor controller and you know, I haven't done enough testing to know what's safe, but definitely take it slow. I'm not liable for anything you break, but have fun with it. Oh, and I would recommend not touching any of the other settings unless you read the manual. Yeah. just got back from the test ride and uh, Kyle, what do you think about the mod? Uh, it's juicy. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler. It's, uh, the, the bottom end torque is a lot uh, more responsive. I get to uh, the top end a lot faster. I'd like to see if we can possibly up the top speed, but the torque is there, man. This baby goes. You heard it here, folks. Juicy and the torque is there. That is the end of this video. I wanna give a special thanks to uh, Kyle for letting me mess with his bike. We've got some more content coming. Uh, we're planning a sprocket change to increase the top speed of this bike to be closer to 60 miles an hour. If you liked what you saw and want to see more, smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll keep it coming. Thank you guys.